Hey guys, um, it's Marky up at the Dust Bowl. It's evening time, uh, Friday evening, about I just looked at the clock, I don't know, 5 30, something like that. Um, yeah, and that beautiful machine right in front of you that's my car, man. That's my 68 Chevrolet Impala convertible with uh custom 1968 hideaway headlights i believe those came on the 68 caprice as an option and they came on the 68 impala wagon as an option but it's not standard equipment on 68 that's my baby man i love it right now under the hood is a 400 small block but the plan is to put a 383 stroker built um, dressed up a little, not dressed up a whole lot, but just built with a few braided steel hoses and air conditioning because right now it's not blowing air. Um, it's only got a two speed power glide, but I'm digging the two speed. I really look forward to having the horsepower with that two speed and my dual glass pack exhaust. Anyway, this is not a car channel, but that's my baby. I'm gonna stop the video and start the whole uh, no, wait, before I start, stop the video. Um, I'm not here with my H109S because just moments ago I took it out for its first little test flight on my block and it did okay. I don't know if the video came out. I don't know if the video came out from the head cam and I don't know if the video came out from the, uh, from the onboard camera. Because, uh, well, if the video from the head cam came out, then you will see what I went through with the onboard camera. I don't know what the hell that thing was doing, man. Um, from the moment I turned on the transmitter, uh, the letter M popped up, and it started beeping, and a clock started. And I don't know what that was. What was that beeping and that clock, man? Was that a warning telling me my battery was getting low? Was that a timer for the camera? I don't know. And I'm going to have to spend like an hour on YouTube researching and figuring out what the hell was that. Because that was something new to me. Um, funny thing. When I shipped that transmitter out, I could have sworn. Why? Well, no, I didn't swear. I know I had a uh, three cell lipo inside the controller. Now, but I could have sworn that three cell lipo that I had in there was an 11 volt lipo um, with a JST connector, which is kind of hard to find something that small with a JST with 11 volts. But I really thought that's what that controller called for. When I opened up the controller, when I got it back from Hubson, it had a, uh, it had the, the empty battery pack for the, uh, eight double A's that comes in it when you get the controller stock. So I started wondering, is this even my controller, man? Because I had a LiPo in there and um, I had a sunscreen and the controller I got back had no sunscreen and I opened it up and it had no LiPo. So I put eight double uh, A batteries in there. And when I turned it on, like I said, that beeping started and the voltage indicator read seven something volts now was that its way of telling me it was already low on voltage because i thought that thing ran on 11 volts and not seven volts anyway i went out and bound the uh quad to the controller on my block and uh the turned on the camera the fpv screen did come on it wasn't as scratchy or blotchy I didn't put any range on it. I didn't even, well, if, if you see the video, you'll see I didn't even take that thing out uh, uh, 20 meters in any direction, whether 20 meters up or 20 meters out, you know, because I was on my block, and that's a big bird, and um, we were putting it up in the air in a trial basis, so I kept it over pavement and only over pavement, and uh, I kept it low. Um, chime in on this. If you know what the hell's going on or what I'm doing wrong, I will tell Hubson. I mean, you know, hey, man, if they had some shipping issues about shipping me back my battery or if they just, 
you know, in the course of doing their technician type duties, they didn't have time or the resources to put my battery back and give it back to me. Um, I'll accept that, man. But, you know, thanks for repairing my quad, Hubson, and not charging me. But dang, um, you could give me back my battery. <laughs> so I gotta go, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy some new double A's. Um, another thing is, I don't have a computer when I come up here to visit my mom. And that's where I do a lot of my flying and uh, I take care of a lot of my stuff. I don't have a computer up here, so I can't view what I've done. In terms of inserting my SD card and seeing a video and in terms of researching getting any kind of uh, information tutorial wise I have to go I go on YouTube YouTube is you know you guys are my guys but when I'm up here in this area my only action at YouTube is on my smartphone and man that gets really really timely and it's just uh, not a lot of fun so when I run into a bump in the road and there's something that I have to research I uh, usually have to wait till that night when I get home to my apartment on the other end of town and then I go on YouTube and I research what the hell's going on and what my little problem is um, bear in mind that when I fly a quad that I haven't flown in, in, in some time and you know I'm certainly not experience with the H109 it's been up here to the Dust Bowl I had a nice time that day too but um, bear in mind that when I fly something that I'm not familiar with or I haven't flown in a while I usually don't go up in the air until watching at least two or three uh, YouTube videos just to kind of give myself like a refresher course in terms of what's what. I mean, I don't blindly just turn on controllers and turn on quads and think I got it, man. You know, especially me, because you know, my memory's not too great. I'm terrible with faces. I'm terrible with names. I can put names to cars. I can name various members of various rock bands and stuff like that. I, I that stuff is ingrained in my head. Um, even some political stuff. Yeah, I kind of can remember that. So if you mess up, I got you, man. But other than that, yeah, my memory's a little shaky. So I know you're tired of me talking. Um, today in the mail, I got this fake Hubson battery. I charged it up, and I'm going to take out the real Hubson battery and put in the fake one and see what's going on. The other day, I got uh, 400 meters, and I turned it around because I was down to about uh, 7 point, no, 6.8 volts or something like that, and I don't like to be in the air anything under 6.6, 6.5 volts. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to stop talking. I know if you see the helicopter, you're in my dust bowl. I'm going to stop talking, shut off the camera, and I'll restart it after I calibrate it.